Good morning and welcome. My name is Doris. Jezebel is going to be exposed. That Jezebel in your life is going to be exposed and it's going to become food to the dogs. That is what the Lord is saying to you. And the Lord gave me several scriptures that relates to this word. And the first one is in the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verses 20. And this is what it says. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you because you allow that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols second kings 9 and 30 says now when jehu had come to jezreel jezebel heard of it and she put she put paint on her eyes and adorned her head and looked through a window first kings 21 and 23 says and concerning jezebel the lord also spoke saying the dogs shall eat jezebel by the wall of Jezreel. Jezebel has been harassing so many. Jezebel has been threatening and intimidating the children of God. Jezebel has been trying to destroy the anointing and the blessing of God in the lives of so many believers and in the lives of the servants of God. Jezebel has been acting up silly in the lives of many and most of you granted you have reached your limit. You have and you just can't take it anymore. It's time for that Jezebel in your life to be exposed. God has greatly invested in your life. God has greatly invested in you. And the devil cannot touch you. That Jezebel in your life is going to be exposed and is going to become food to the dogs. Jezebel. And Jezebel is a prophetic spirit that is corrupted and that is compromised. It is a counterfeit that operates in divination. Acts 16, 16 says, Now it happened as we went to prayer that a certain slave girl possessed with the spirit of divination met us who brought her masters much profit by fortune telling jezebel is a demonic warrior who targets people with golden destinies people with great destinies it targets those who carry greatness those that god has ordained for greatness jezebel targets the cutting edge ministries that are preaching the gospel of the kingdom of god jezebel does not discriminate if you are a carrier of god's glory if you carry greatness inside of you, if God ordained you for exploits, Jezebel is going to come after you. Jezebel is going to try to attach itself on you, either to take you out or to seduce you into compromise. Jezebel targets kings. Jezebel targets apostles, prophets, teachers, pastors, evangelists. It targets those who love God. Jezebel targets those who are advancing the kingdom of God. It targets those who are walking out their purpose in life. Those who are living for God. Those who are living holy and righteous before God. You have you see, Jezebel will target the believers of God. You have been a target of Jezebel for a long time. And it is time to expose that Jezebel in your life. Jezebel is going to become food to the dogs. The greatest and the most difficult enemy to fight is the enemy within. And Jezebel always operates from within. Jezebel likes to operate operate from within. Jezebel always positions in leadership. Jezebel positions in leadership, in church, in ministries, in households. Jezebel will position among those who have influence in families, in organization, in businesses. You will find Jezebel positioned in top leadership positions where decisions are made, where policies are made. Jezebel always operates from a place of influence. It likes control. Jezebel likes manipulation. Jezebel likes oppression and subjugation. And anywhere you see these four things in operation, guarantee Jezebel is there. Jezebel likes complete 
dominance over those that it controls and Jezebel is not just going to show up anyhow in your life. No, Jezebel takes its time to study you. Jezebel takes note of you. Jezebel will assess you, will gauge you and get information about your identity before Jezebel targets you. What you carry, the anointing in your life, the gifting in your life, the talents in your life is of great interest to Jezebel because that is what is going to help it to execute its agenda. Jezebel will do a thorough, thorough research on you before it comes after you, before it attaches itself on you. It makes sure that it knows you are every move. Jezebel will make Make sure that it knows your God-given assignment, your strength, and most of all, your weakness. It knows what buttons to push. It knows which strings to pull. You see, Jezebel knew exactly what was going to send Elijah running, but she made her match in Jehu. That Jezebel in your life has met a match. And that Jezebel is going to be exposed and become food to the dogs. When you overcome Jezebel, you always come out with revelation. You always get a revelation. And this revelation is what is going to help you that so that you don't get swallowed up, so that you don't get destroyed. Every true church that is preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, every servant of God who is advancing the kingdom of God, every believer who is living for God, who is living according to the will of God, is going to encounter Jezebel at some point. There is, there is this servant of God who said that 98% of those saying that they are prophets in this day and age are actually false. They are prophets of Baal. They are operating in the spirit of divination. They are operating with familiar spirits. They are not operating with the spirit of God. These prophets are eunuchs. Eunuchs in the prophetic are those who carry the Jezebel spirit. It is a spirit of prophecy, but operating in divination. They are not hearing from God. God is not their source. They are hearing from familiar spirits. And that is why they are called eunuchs. They cannot bat that which is of God. They are spiritually sterile and their source is divination. The main modus operandi of Jezebel is seduction and it will try to seduce you with gifts. Jezebel will try to seduce you with food, money, associations. Jezebel will try to seduce you with power, influence. Jezebel is very materialistic. And Jezebel will always draw your attention and focus on worldly things, on material things. Anybody, anybody can be seduced. So don't, don't lie to yourself that you are immune to the seduction of Jezebel. Holy Spirit is the only one who teaches us to say no to all ungodliness. That is what the scriptures say. So it is the Holy Spirit that is going to protect you from this spirit of Jezebel once you are seduced by Jezebel. As a believer, once you are seduced by Jezebel, the manipulation will begin and you are going to be controlled by scripture. Yes, Jezebel is very good with scripture, is very good in manipulating scripture to control believers. It's, it makes it, you see, when Jezebel presents scripture to you, he presents it like, like truth, but it is all deception.
you must be a student of the word or you are going to be sucked in with the deception of Jezebel. You're going to be sucked in with error and heresies of Jezebel. You must know the word. Jezebel is the best preacher that you can ever listen to. It has power to twist scripture. It has power to twist scripture to tickle your ears. Jezebel will tell you exactly what you want to hear. Jezebel knows the Bible back to back. Don't be lied to. And you cannot tell just by observation who Jezebel is. You can only know by their fruit. You can only know them by their fruit. And you need discernment to know that Jezebel in your life. Jezebel operates under a deep network. You see the devil wants what God wants. And that is the church the body of Christ he wants to be God only discernment is gonna help you to identify the Jezebel deception it's not easy to resist the devil when he shows up in your life as the angel of light Jezebel will only launch an all-out attack at you when its seduction fails but it always strives to seduce. This spirit is full of pride and arrogance. It likes to show off. It likes a flashy lifestyle. It presents to you a flashy lifestyle to entice you and, and, and defines it as blessing. It comes with money. It comes with prophecy from familiar spirits, from divination that does not build your faith, that does not edify you, that does not point you to God, does, that does not point you to holiness. Empty prophetic words that does not build nor edify the body of Christ. Jezebel never has a solution to anything. It, it comes disguised as the Holy Spirit, but its intention will always be to try and impress you. You see, God never impress you. His yes is yes. His no is no. Beware of people who tell you that the Spirit of God has sent them to come and tell you to do something. Or the Spirit of God has sent them to instruct you to make a certain decision or a certain choice. They want, they want to manipulate your decision. God will never manipulate your free will and any prophecy that brings you confusion, any prophecy that brings doubt and fear, it is Jezebel in action. True prophecy brings peace, even if it is a word of warning, even if it is a word of rebuke, even if it is a word of correction, there is always peace that comes with the word that is from God. And God will always show you a way of escape and does not give you ultimatums. Jezebel will always give you an ultimatum. Every time you feel hopelessness, that is Jezebel in action. It comes in your life with lies veiled as truth. Jezebel will come in your life with a lot of lies and pretend to solve your problem. But by the time Jezebel leaves your life, by the time Jezebel exits your life, you are totally destroyed. The devil comes only to steal, kill, and to destroy. And that is the agenda of the Jezebel. There are altars. There are so many altars in churches that are occupied by Jezebel and not the Holy Spirit. That Jezebel that has been manipulating in your life, that has been manipulating events in your life to cause you to abort your destiny is going to be exposed and is going to become food to the dogs. Holy Spirit is going to take over your life. 
life now. Holy Spirit is going to take complete control of your life. Your life is going to be led of the Holy Spirit. Your life is going to be directed by the Holy Spirit. Whatever the enemy put you in, God is going to bring you out. Whatever Jezebel put you through, God is going to reverse it and reward you. Recompense is coming for those who have been affected by this Jezebel. Your children are coming out. Your household is coming out. God is releasing an anointing that is going to go before you. That, that is going to go to your children. The battle is over. The promise is for you and your children. Jezebel, that Jezebel in your life is going to be exposed and is going to become food to the dogs. And that is the word that the Lord gave me to come and bring to you. God bless you.